going on guys chase daniel here this is the chase daniel show today i'm going to do something a little bit different we're going to go back to 2007 and i'm going to break down the missouri versus kansas game armageddon at arrowhead stadium freezing cold night winner would be number one in the country this is the best game i think i've ever played my teammates have ever played i'm super excited to dive into it and just all it meant for the University of Missouri. It was the first time that we had gotten to number one in the country since the 1960s. We were a game away from the national championship game. It felt like nothing could go wrong in this game. I remember vibing and dancing on the sideline pregame with Jeremy Macklin, Chase Kaufman, Martin Rucker, all those legends. We were ready for this moment. And it showed on the field, I'm gonna take 13 plays and show you never before seen footage on just exactly what I saw, what my teammates saw. I'm excited to break it down. Let's get into it right now. All right, guys, it's here. It's very grainy. There was no HD back in 2007. Man, this is bringing back some memories. Jeremy Macklin, Ruck, Denario, Chase Kaufman, all the offensive line that played. Man, it was electric this day honestly i've watched this game once or twice uh since i um got out and this is the first time in probably the last 10 years that i've seen it and it's 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 awesome i'm just gonna go through talk about the play break it down uh right here you got this all go special look and no i do not remember what we called it at the university of missouri but it's four verticals we're bringing uh, Jeremy Macklin on this jet sweep motion, a little bit of fake. Got this linebacker to step up just enough. And boy, I can't talk enough about this guy right here, Denario Alexander. He played an unbelievable game. Uh, really, everyone did. Nothing could go wrong. Uh, I want you to watch this route by Denario right here. So usually in too high, we tell him to take the pipe right there, <clears throat> take the seam. Okay, this is a clear out. This is a clear out. Chase Kaufman, best release. But I love what he does right here. He crosses the Mike linebacker's face. Okay, this is what they played against us a lot, this too high coverage. They were worried about all of our threats, Tony Temple as well, not even in the game right here, but they're worried about those threats. So we had to come out and be able to throw the football still accurately and on time and in rhythm. But this right here, this cross face right here by Denario really sets the tone for the game. Uh, this is... Such a great play by him. Cross and face. We're able to just throw it, play catch. Okay, let's go to the back view. Man, the atmosphere was electric that night. That was awesome. I love this little play fake right here because we had, uh, in in time, we had actually handed the ball off to Jeremy. This is a little play fake. They're obviously playing in a six-man box, so throwing and running pretty good. Uh, and I just want you to know, like, this is – look at these splits – by our offensive line. Like that was something we preached on because the wider they got, the wider that these D tackles could get. And oh, by the way, I'll show you the next clip. I was six and a half yards in shotgun. Really the first of our time to do it. This was in 2007, but Jeremy Macklin, just a little eye candy right there. Nice fake, one, two, three, hitch, hitch, ball. Really good job by Denario. Okay, he should be in this open grass right here, but he said, hey, you know what? After this, I remember on the sideline, he's like, hey, I couldn't get past him. You good with me going underneath him? I said, absolutely. Great job. Good start. We got 13 plays I want to talk through. And I remember, so it's 50 seconds left right here in the, uh, in the first quarter, I believe. Yep, first quarter, and this is fourth and one to go. So we went for it. Not a lot of scoring in the first uh, quarter because every uh, both teams were a little bit nervous. But how about this? Quads formation. Chase Kaufman singled up. Okay, we had done a lot of this like quarterback run. We called it pig right, pig left. And I do remember what we called this tunnel screen, which we ran so much that year. We called it bomb left and bomb right. And what a call by David Yost. Uh, Coach Christensen, Coach Pinkle to, hey, on fourth and one at the one, let's get Chase and empty at six and a half yards deep. Trust them to make this throw. Trust our guys to block. And we're able to throw a touchdown on this little alley screen right here. We got everyone blocked. Okay. It's awesome. 
Good job. Every, every, all the offensive linemen are going flat. This looks like an easy throw and catch. A little in front of them, but I let them into the end zone. And look at that. It's a perfect tunnel uh, for a touchdown. Even down here. Like, this is crazy to me. Like, just going back and reliving all this stuff. Our splits were so wide. So these defensive linemen thought they could shoot the gaps. Well, in reality, we did this a lot. A little look off by me. Okay, nice throw and catch and perfect blocking by our offensive line. I will say this offensive line was one of the best offensive lines in the country. No doubt about it. Kept me upright. I was at six and a half yards, so people had a hard time getting to me in sacks. Look at this little look off. This is when I felt really comfortable understanding the offense on what to do. Make this throw right here. Touchdown, Tigers. I swear there were more black and gold there uh, this game. Uh, then there were Kansas fans. Once again, see what we're doing right here. Oh, I wanted to put this on because I got our guy killed right here. I'm not even sure what we're running. It looks like it's like a deep cross. I don't really remember this play. A deep cross, a dagger, a through route, and then somehow this post route. And I think that I can throw this post route versus cover two and get our guys killed it really should be one to two with an alert right here. But I felt like I could get to him. Okay, the safety's pretty far back. Okay, really good bend right there. They're sort of manning up underneath. It's like it is, it is two man, which is interesting. So that so two man, you should never be allowed to get in breakers right here. You should probably throw the shallow cross chase. Way to go. Way to get our guy killed. But wanted to show this because I thought this was a sweet throw from the back view. But I got our guy smoked right there man look at i mean i just can't get over these splits but yep six and a half yards deep okay i'm looking off i think i i'm probably trying to work this in route over here not there come back a little bit late and throw it right to him but gets our guy absolutely smoked sorry about that bud will franklin uh, apologize for that did not mean to do that oh by the way this helps when they only rush three and you have this massive pocket to throw from okay i felt like my arm was stronger back then than it was now okay sorry will didn't mean to get you smoked all right seven nothing third down and 11 this is something we did a lot of this empty package look they i didn't realize that they were this scared of us because they're rushing three okay usually you don't see a lot of drop eight it's third and 11 let's see what play we get to looks like it's a switch all go yeah so what we're doing right here we're just taking the the flat control instead of right there we're putting them at number three and we're running switch all go with double benders so double benders means if it's too high they can bend but you can see there's an extra guy right there i know that they're only rushing three this is one of the highlights of my career this play right here okay so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to go just want to pump fake enough to get him. You're trying to get this wheel route right here. The safety stays wide, though. Nothing there. I mean, I think I scramble around for 11 seconds this play. Great block right there. Touchdown, baby. Let's go. Let's see from this back view. It's better. So, only rushing three. As a quarterback, you know you got a lot of extra time. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. 2005, nothing's open. Look, you got five KU guys covering two, but that's why you just got to keep the keep the keep it moving. Look at big old Colin Brown right there making that block. Just keep it moving. Super pumped. This is cool. I remember, I remember this emotion. Let's see it one more time right here. Let's see if I can pause it when I'm turning back just with my hands up. This is awesome. This must be the KU end zone. Love to shut them up right here. That's awesome. Right there, that is pure joy, pure confidence. Our guys were confident all night long. 14 nothing. We sort of let off the gas a little bit. They came back, made it an interesting game. Two by two right here is protection. Whole shot. Come on now. Let's go. So this we used to run this play all the time, and it always freaking worked. I have no idea, man. All these memories are, are, uh, are flooding back. So it's just a little bubble right here. All right, this is like a extension of our run game. You have this over route, which is 10 to 12. 
Okay, and you also have this whole shot. Well, they decided they wanted to play, like we said, a bunch of this cover two. As soon as he goes to the flat right here, this corner is going to come up. I just saw, hey, there's an opening. Let's get it. We're also doing this play fake and pulling this guard, called it goat protection. Don't know why. Okay, and just easily was able to fit it in. I think that's Tommy Saunders who had some major uh, catches for us. Oh, by the way, didn't even see this. We're doing this goat protection from four to a side, unbalanced offensive line. I'm telling you our offensive coaches and everyone that had a say in the game plan was before it's time. I mean, look at this, like this is, this is unbelievable. It's a short edge. Okay. You got to get out, got to move. My eyes go directly to the safety. Can I fit it in? Yes. Okay. Able to move whole shot, perfect throw, perfect catch, moving the chains, baby. All right. 14, nothing second and nine right here. Let's see what we got. Okay. Just trying to throw a hitch down here to chase Kaufman. Didn't like it. Okay. Got to move. Got to run. Throwing on the move. Get in there. Will get in there. Oh, he's so close. Love this. So, I mean, this is probably what we did the best. I think out of anyone in college football, we threw a lot of quick games. So a six yard hitch, a looky route, a slant and an in. And so I just got to pick, all right? I got to pick a side, stick on the side. I picked this side, didn't work out, all right? We're full sliding the line, Chase. I don't know why I'm doing this. I had full say on protection. Leaving this back on a, on a defensive end is not good. But didn't like Chase Kaufman right there, okay? Felt like it was a little bit tight, okay? Just gotta move, okay? The scramble drill was there. Such a good play. Our receivers were insanely good this year. Let's check out the footwork. One, two, catch and throw. Didn't like it. Okay, running a hitch down here in the red zone probably wasn't the best idea uh, for me to throw that because it was covered. Just throw it to Will. Scramble drill. Akib Talib and Chris Harris, both NFL longtime players and corners were there as well. All right, 21-7, and we still smoked them. All right, we see it right here. They decided, hey, we're not just sitting back anymore. We're going to come pressure. Let's see what we got. Empty. Did we slide it? Nope. I slid it the wrong way. So we had four-letter terms to either slide the line left or to slide the line right. Chase, what are you doing? You can obviously tell it's coming from the right. Why didn't you slide it there? That's a mistake. Not good. Okay, somehow we're able to, to fix it because I'm pretty sure that we pop guards. This is what I wanted to put on. Yeah. Look at our left guard right here come out, take a hit off me and able to find a window and an opening right here. All right. It's just like triple slant with an option route. So it's slant chase throw into pressure. Come on. Your coaches caught you better. I should be throwing to this side, but I decided I wanted to work this option route. You can break out or in and a clear out. Glad I didn't throw into pressure because that's, this would have been wide open. Just take that right there. Take this outside. They gave us that outside throw all game long. Why are you working over here trying to fit it in between two guys? I don't understand this, but it ends up working out. Nice little throw. Okay, this is, this is something that was next level too. Okay, Madison's up there uh, coming out to, to help me out. They're bringing four to a side right here. All right, so speaker goes back. Curtis Gregory there. Really good job by Big 7-6 right there to take a hit off me. Love that. Big Colin Brown. Look at him right there. Boom. Gets out. Okay. Love that. I don't know why I'm pumping. This might have been a double move. But Chase, you should throw into pressure. Another big catch. I think that's Denario Alexander. It's hard to see sometimes. All right. First and 15. Ball on the 16. Two by two. We're not an empty. Oh, it's the GOAT protection again. And they're bringing pressure. Okay. Mm, the exact same play. I loved this play. I've done this a few times in the NFL going to my left where I don't really scramble out to the left. It's not true a naked, a naked route or a naked uh, concept. I just sort of set up and buy some time and get this over route over here, right here. Okay, you got a, you got a go ball. This is exactly what we did. Okay, there's some issue when they pressure right in the middle of the field. God, that's two throws that we got down to the two or one yard line and what do you know we're doing it the opposite way you're pulling this right guard unbalanced line i'm telling you before our time right here snap was a little low that's all right 
Okay, most coaches teach you to, hey, stay on the move, go out of here, but I felt this open space right here. I wanted to be able to, to fit it in to our guy. Okay, you just got to get set. Really good job by Nario, but you got to get in, dog. You got to get in. Could have had two touchdowns. Let's go. 21-7, a minute 40. Oh, this was an easy one to, to dewash right here. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that counts as a touchdown pass. I'm pretty sure we were unbalanced too. Yep, unbalanced. Plus, that's a our right guard. This is our tight end, and it's pretty much just a, a speed sweep to the right. But this time, uh, I get to throw it in. I remember they called this play. Coach Christensen and, and, and Yost called this play earlier in the drive. I called a timeout. I didn't like it. They came back to it. We trusted him. He did the rest of the work, got it in. Once again, oh, where's it at? Once again, unbalanced line. Okay, Martin Rucker leading the way. Let's go, T. Ruck. Is that my guy, John Gissinger, right there? This is my college roommate getting absolutely plowed over right there. Come on, dude. Get your head across. Let's go. Love that. D. Wash for an easy touchdown. All right, 31 21, second and eight. Fourth quarter, 8 16 left. They started a little bit of a comeback. Okay, but we were able to get in there once again. This is a. Uh, Smash is what we called it. So it's a deep pitch, a corner route, a pipe route. We hit this in Colorado for a huge touchdown. Another corner route and a hitch route. As soon as I saw it was too high and Jeremy, I think that's Jeremy, had leverage on this uh, safety. That's where I went. Did one, two, three. Okay. Guy in the pocket just got enough on him. Just got enough on it to get it. Okay. We felt, we felt so comfortable this game. Okay, you couldn't really, you couldn't really stop us. Like there was no way we were losing this game right here. Get enough ball on it, okay, with someone in your face. Really good catch by J Mac. Third down and fourteen. The line to gain is here. We're putting ourselves in some really bad situations. What do you know? This goat protection, okay, able to fit it in. Oh, we get to the first down marker. This was huge. How many people? can say that they are running sprint out protection on third and 14. Well, that's what sort of we were doing. Okay, you have this little mini over, you have this deep over, and you have this huge post. I think we call it triple cross. You're just reading it low to high. Any college coaches out there want to get some of our plays? Let's go. Really good job. Okay, we got a guy, Scott Free, in our face. We didn't only rushing three right here. They end up, uh, this is a spy. I don't know why they're spying me, but he comes through right here. I'm just waiting back there at seven yards, just saying, hey, you can't get to me. Able to get it over that guy and in between for a huge third down. Not what you really draw up on third and 14, but we were able to convert. Let's go. Now they decided that they wanted to bring pressure. Pretty sure we are doing the go the goat protection again where you're pulling the guard we love this and i remember this play vividly okay it's just a uh a little screen right there it's a 10 yard hitch and a through route with an over i'm just trying to throw it to martin rucker right here then i work to jeremy macklin this protection is not great college coaches if you're bringing two outside the pressure got to move around a little bit make something miss is able to hit jeremy i do not remember this play and we were able to get the first down. This was a huge first down to keep our drive going. I didn't know I scrambled this much. Able to get outside the pocket just enough. <clears throat> Jeremy does a good job finding the empty space. And we're able to get it going. Love that. Let's see it from this back view. Okay. There's two outside. <clears throat> we're doing this protection where we're pulling the guard again. Okay. Just got to make a miss. As soon as you pump, watch. Both hands come up. Watch this. Both hands come up. Boop. Not there. Moving around. Man, look. I didn't know I was that fast. Look at me running away from these guys. These blue, these blue guys. This is awesome. Big time throw to J-Mac. Big time first down, too. And the best play in football, victory. Okay? Saad Reesing had just been sacked. Man, this is this this brings back a flood of emotions for me. So excited. Cameraman, watch our sideline. The first Big 12 North division title in a long time. A national number one ranking. The best game I ever played.
University of Missouri. We're number one, baby. Let's go.